hello friends good morning good afternoon good evening so lot of you have having a problem of understanding what was the code a and code b with respect to eligibility costs right so this is the exact code which you have filled to prove that you are domicile of karnataka right and ke kct is for the students who are domiciles of karnataka and not the national exam right so i'm just just bringing this video to give a clarity of so code a is basically that you have passed seven years seven academic years from the state of karnataka itself right that means you have studied you know continuous seven years including class 10th or class 12th from karnataka right so one of the class 10th or 12th you should be passing from karnataka or it should be 12th or the second puc whatever you call right based on if it is cbsc or it's a pu board system so any student for example has you know come to karnataka after studying class 5 right so from class 6 onwards he is in karnataka so class 6 to 12 that is total it will be 7 years 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 12 so total 7 continuous years and he is eligible for the you know code a right and this can be before that year also for example you can do from class 3 onwards to class 10th also 7 continuous year and you have given 10th from karnataka but you have given given 12th from any other state that is fine 10th or 12th you should have done from karnataka and 7 continuous years the class b is the second part of it so class b uh, class b or the code b of class eligibility class refers to the students who have studied only 11th and 12th in karnataka that means they have studied the previous years in some other states only 11th and 12th they have studied in karnataka but their parents are the domiciles of karnataka and their parents have studied seven continuous years in karnataka so if your parents have, have studied karnataka in karnataka seven continuous years that itself is a class for you know um, fulfilling the criteria that you are a domicile of karnataka so those students who are uh, like you know studied only two years in karnataka which is 11 12th plus their parents have studied seven years in karnataka are eligible for class b so so apart from these two main classes there are many other classes under which a student can qualify for you know admission to kct exam so those are starting from class number c d e f g h i j k l m n o so i'm going to discuss now each of those other classes so the class c is for the candidate and either of parents like mother's tongue should be kannada tulu kodava or either of the parents were domiciled in state of karnataka such candidates should have passed qualifying examination for university of karnataka and should have you know residing outside state of karnataka as on 31st as on 1st may so those are the people and they have to write kannada language test test conducted by kea so this is class c for karnataka then there is a class d for the candidates whose mother tongue again is like a kannada tulu or kodavu similar to the previous one and they have studied period of 7 years between 1st and 12th standard in disputed kannada speaking regions which can be south solapur district or uh, akalkot jat or other taluks in maharashtra karnataka border and or on the kerala border so these students will also be eligible for under clause d and they also will have to write the kannada language test as a student of clause c next is class e is for the son or daughter of a defense personnel right the army defense background people who have continuously worked in karnataka for minimum period of 1 year during the last 2 years that is of their student of child's class 11th or 12th they should have minimum 1 year stayed in karnataka and worked in karnataka and the student should have been passing the qualifying exam in government or a government recognized education institute in state of karnataka so those students can fill e and f is for the same similar type but you know son or daughter of serving defense personnel from karnataka right who come from karnataka who at the time of joining defense period has declared his home time as karnataka so those students can do f and proof of such domicile should be obtained when produced by obtaining you know different type of army headquarters you know uh, respective uh, integrated hq right ministry of defense from there they have to get the certificate and on the records and your know, clause g is for the student or son or daughter of again defense personnel who have served in karnataka for at least one year 
and is posted to the distributed areas of Jammu and Kashmir. So specifically those two parents are posted in Jammu Kashmir but are the son of Karnataka uh, or daughter of defense personnel who has worked in Karnataka. So again such students who have passed the exam in Karnataka uh, government recognized institutes those students are eligible for class G. So uh, if you have to go for each of these classes and then Again, H is for the son or daughter of ex servicemen. So these are not the present servicemen or the defense professionals, but the ex servicemen. So they have already, you know, retired, and at the time of joining uh, service, they have declared Karnataka as their hometown. So for them, they should produce the certificate from Deputy Director of Scenic Welfare Resettlement, which is in Bangalore. For after you know that certificate, you can apply under Clause H. So that is a document which you have to produce. Now again the column or the clause I is for the son or daughter of union government. So this is not for defense but for the government job. Union government means central government and uh, or employee of you know union or Karnataka state government undertaking or joint sector undertaking side between central government and state government and their parents are again worked in Karnataka for minimum period of one year and their children have studied in a PUC class 11th and class 12th standard in any government recognized in Karnataka. Now column J or the clause J uh, as for Again, for similar of son or daughter of, you know, retired employee of union government. So that was for the existing employee of uh, central government. And this is for the retired employee of union government of Karnataka. Their, you know, children can um, use the clause J. Again, they should have studied the qualifying exam from, you know, Karnataka or any other institution located in, in anywhere in India. So any place from India, you can do your 12th class. Next is the K clause, which is son or daughter of member of parliament, right? MP, member of parliament who is elected from Karnataka. So this is for them specifically. Only very few students may be part of this, and they could also be qualifying examination passed from any institution in Karnataka or anywhere in India. So this very few people will use this clause because it's a member of parliament, and uh, not many people are member of parliament as like you know number of seats are lesser. So let's go to the clause I. Again, son or daughter of a retired employee who belongs to Karnataka cadre, so All India Service of Karnataka cadre, or Karnataka State Government who served or is serving outside the Karnataka. So they are student, student or parents are from Karnataka, they are serving outside Karnataka and the candidate study is outside the state from 1st standard to 2nd PUC or 12th standard and can be added to make a 7 years within Karnataka as required in the class A. So they also have to fulfill seven years. Next is the M, which is the son or daughter of the Jammu Kashmiri migrants, right? Proof of such migration is the ID card. So any student who is joining from Jammu and Kashmir, migrants, the parents, right? They can select the class M and they will need the certificate from district magistrate and deputy commissioner in any state of India, in any state in India, right? So that's how they will qualify for this particular uh, you know class m quota and moving further you see class n which is for candidates who have studied 10 full academic years in canada medium right from first standard to 10 standard in places outside the state of karnataka and so they have studied in canada medium but not in karnataka maybe in maharashtra maybe in any other state which allows canada uh, medium schools so they have studied canada in non karnataka state and they are also eligible for class n and they have to write canada language test conducted by ke so which will be on the 22nd of uh, may and the o clause is the last clause which is for the student of a retired employee of central armed police force it's called capf or capf service and has declared again karnataka as their hometown right and the proof of such domicile will be produced has to be produced you know, as a record of you know army unit right so that is what they are and they will qualify for this quota so that's all total o up to o there are clauses and you can apply under any of these thanks for watching and please do subscribe channel to get similar updates on all the requirements of kct exams as well as comet kit take care